What's the worst thing that can happen if you never determine your publishing splits with your co-creators when you're creating a song? Number one, when the song blows up, now the producer, the songwriter, they're going to say, you know what? I think I wrote more of that song, right? So I'm entitled to more than 50% of the split. Or if we're splitting the songwriter share, I think I'm entitled to 60% of the songwriting share instead of 50% of the songwriting share, right? So you wanna determine these things before the song or the music blows up because inevitably once you have traction, everybody's price goes up. And it's much more difficult to negotiate with another artist or producer after the song is already a hit versus doing it before anyone knows that the song is a hit. Number two, one of the best ways to monetize your music in today's day and age is through sync. And sync is when your song is paired with a film or on TV or video games or commercial or something of that nature, right? With, with an audio visual work. So when you're in competition to obtain a sync deal, let's say on Netflix, what they like is if all of your paperwork is in order so that all of your publishing splits are written down, the amount of the splits are written down, you know all of the public rights organizations for the songwriters, for the producers that were a part of that particular song, and you have their contact information. So if you're scrambling for all of these things, when the sync deal or the, the TV show or the film operator, they need to clear this music within the next 24 hours or 48 hours, you might lose out on a deal by doing these things after the fact versus at the time that you created the song. If you did this at the very beginning, it becomes a lot easier to organize this information and put it all in a file so that when someone decides to select your song for a sync deal, you can email them a file with all of the clearance paperwork rather than having to go track down your homie who's on tour in Europe trying to get him to sign this deal within 24 hours so that you can obtain this sync deal, right? This is why you wanna do all of these hard things ahead of time. Number three, when you're getting people to enter into these publishing splits beforehand, it becomes a lot easier to deal with any potential fallout, right? A contract, a publishing split is a roadmap of how we deal with things when things go bad. If someone infringes on the song, if someone takes the song and uses it in a way that you never agreed to, right? Your publishing sheets and your splits are a way of going back to what you agreed upon when the song was actually written rather than trying to rely on your memories as to how we decided to split this thing now that the song is hot.